All right, exponential growth modeling. So we have a rabbit farm, start with 100 rabbits. Four weeks later, your population is 142 rabbits. All right, we want to write a continuous, big keyword, continuous growth function. A equals P times the raised RT that models this population over time. To do this, you need to solve for the rate of growth. Okay, so let's fill in the information we know. So we start with 100 rabbits. That's going to be a value for P. After four weeks, that's a time frame. We now have 142 rabbits. That's a, an accumulated amount. We don't know our rate, which kind of makes sense. They told us we had to uh, solve for our rate of growth. So let's fill this all in. 142 equals 100 e raised to the r times 4. Okay, so we have r is up in the exponent. That makes this an exponential equation. So to solve this down, we want to isolate the exponential part, meaning the e to the power. So let's get rid of the 100. If I get rid of, I simply mean move it to the other side utilizing division. So if we wanted to, we could simplify down the left side. 1.42 equals e raised to the r times 4. Okay, at this point, we've isolated the exponential part. We want to get r out of the exponent. The easiest way to do this, because e is our base, is to apply a natural log to both sides. Because it's a one-to-one -one function, we're allowed to apply it to both sides as long as we do it consistently to the entire left side and the entire right side. Okay, next we chose natural log kind of strategically because e is our base over here for the exponential part. Natural log means log base e. When you have e to a power here, these are inverse functions of one another. You'll know, get used to this. The natural log is typically utilized whenever e is our base because we get really nice canceling out over there on the right hand side. We can say the natural log of 142 is going to equal our exponent, so r times 4. So to finish this up and get r all by itself, we need to move the 4 to the other side. So we'll divide both sides by 4. And we have our rate is the natural log of 1.42 divided by 4. Okay, so the last thing we needed to do in part A was actually put together our model. So our model, given us the accumulated amount at whatever time we plug in here, is going to be given by, we start with 100, e raised to the natural log of 1.42 divided by 4, multiplied by t. All right, so I filled in our starting amount, p, and I filled in our rate, and this is now a function where what, for whatever number of weeks into the future, we can plug in different values of t and we can estimate the population of our rabbits. Okay, according to our model, let's follow this up by actually filling in six weeks into the future, how many rabbits are we gonna have? So going to our, our model, we're gonna plug in six and it's staying consistent. This was four weeks, this is six weeks. So our units are staying consistent along the way. So we can say, well, A of six is gonna be 100. E raised to the natural log of 1.42 divided by four times six. And again, all of this is up in the exponents. So be careful as you punch this into your calculator. Um, I got this to be about 213 rabbits. And then one last follow-up question here. How long will it take for the population to reach 380 rabbits? So how long, that's telling us we don't know what our time frame is, we don't know what t is, but we do know what it grows up to be. The accumulated amount A is going to be 380. So we're going to use our same formula that we set up here in part A, except for we're going to plug 380 in on the left-hand side and then try to solve for t. So 380 equals 100 e raised to the natural log of 1.42 divided by four times t. Again, we have an exponential equation. t is up in the exponent here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to isolate the e to the power and move the 100 to the other side. So divide both sides by 100. Um, 3.80 or 3.8 equals e to that power, natural log of 1.42 divided by four times t. Pretty similarly to part a, when we have e to a power, we want to utilize a natural log on both sides. 
So natural log of 3.8 is going to be the natural log of e to this power And by choosing the natural log, you get that nice canceling out on the right hand side. The inverse function property allows us to do some canceling. If you want to say it's that. And that's going to leave us with the exponent natural log of 1.42 divided by 4 times t. And to complete our solving this down, what I'm going to do is first get rid of the 4 by multiplying both sides by 4. So multiplying and dividing by four create a one. So we have four times the natural log of 3.8 equals the natural log of 1.42 times t. And to get t all by itself, it's multiplied by that natural log. So we'll divide both sides by that natural log of 1.42. That'll put t all by itself and give us this as an exact answer. However, we'd probably like to go ahead and get an approximation to figure out approximately how many weeks is it going to take us to get to 380 rabbits. So putting this into our calculator, I got 15.23, and that'll be consistently with our, you know, our other units that this is in weeks. I hope this helps out on working a word problem, uh, exponential growth model based on rabbits. All right, good luck to you on it. Take it one step at a time. Make sure you're confident about what you're filling in. Good luck.